Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Is my year of breaking limits? Someone excited shout a nigga hallelujah. Lift up your voice and appreciate you for answer prayers. Okay. Lord, we give you all the glory and honor. We celebrate you again this evening. Thank you for the first day. Thank you for the second day. And thank you for this Thursday. The third day of this month, week of spiritual emphasis. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you you for that healing testimony this evening. Thank you for bringing these men and women here at Banana Center and in all our viewing centers. We give you all the glory for all you have doing for us and all you have done. Blessed be your holiness. We celebrate you. We worship you for the privilege of gathering all the time into your presence we thank you. Blessed be your holiness. Ask him to visit you in this, on this third day. Ask him to visit you it is your desire that God will grant when you have a desire you have committed him to grant it in Mark 11 verse 24 whatsoever you desire when you pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them every desire must be verbalized in prayer Jesus Jesus asked those two blind men in Matthew chapter 9, verse 27 to 29. Say, what do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? He's asking such questions to you. What do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? Lift up your voice. He said, have I called the seed of Jacob? to seek me in vain no God have no God win us any time in vain there is something he packed for you in this service today as God I am ready for it I am ready for it I, am, I didn't come here because it is just a service I am here for an expectation Lord visit me meet me at the point of my need wherever you are connected to this service lift up your voice and pray to your heavenly father we have gathered unto him and the Bible says unto him shall the gathering of the people be we have gathered unto him the meet our needs he will meet our needs tonight lift up your voice and ask him you came here with sickness ask him Jesus heal me I must not return the same way again Shia Kutian Dovelando Shiaba Lord, let your presence be made manifest in our lives today. Manifest your presence as never before. Lord, heal in this service. Lord, deliver in this service. Lord, restore whatever the devil has stolen. Say, on the third day, you shall resolve. In this post-resurrection era, Jesus, let me have the infallible proofs, signs and wonders and diverse miracles. Let that body be lifted, let that yoke be broken. By your word and the mystery of the communion tonight, blessed be your holy name. We give you all the glory, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. We worship you. We adore you. Hallelujah. Wave your hand and appreciate him. Everyone pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Ayulia kata kato lenda la bala basha la bala ba Elia kababa lebo ali sholondo londo lobo shiaka 
eketeke toko 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 tolobo ibalande eketu shakata la baliba ayulia kata kato shiketu la baba ayulia kabwa likata lia baba obweke toko toko tolobo shalaba alia baba landa kata kata kato koto koto ikitu shiketu kote keto ketu shianda abuandu shulembra lande eketu shakaba Thank you, Jesus. Sante Yesu. Let's sing. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Sing it in Swahili. Oh, Fear your word and the mystery of the communion tonight. So shall it be. In Jesus name. Is my year of breaking limit? Then what eyes have not seen or yet heard shall be your experience all through the year 2020. Congratulations. Amen and amen. Please have your seat. Welcome again to the Friday edition of Week of Spiritual Emphasis. We appreciate God for the first day, the second day, and this third day. 
we thank God for his word, thank God for the weather, thank God for everyone that came and everyone that connected to this service and we believe on this third day God will do greater things in our lives somebody shout a louder amen Jesus said come unto me all ye have heavy laden there is no other place to go than to go to him there is no other place to go when you are heavy laden than to go to him. Come unto me, all you have heavy laden. And I will give you rest. You have come. God will give you rest today. And not hearing a louder amen. Say to yourself, I am for signs and wonders. Say, I am for signs and wonders. You know, in the school of the supernatural, if you don't declare it, you will not see it happen. If you see Mark, 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 Mark chapter 16, verse 20, they went and preached everywhere. And God was walking with them. He was not saying anything. He was ready to confirm what they have said. That's why in the school of the supernatural, if you are not saying anything, God will not confirm anything. You have to declare it in faith to commit God to confirm it. And that's why we call miracles. There is always a part to play. Kuna ya kufanya. And one of them Moja hayo. is declaring it with conviction. Ni kutamka kwa ushawishi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why don't be afraid to say I am for signs and wonders. Even though you don't believe that you are for signs and Hata wonders. Kama bado kwamba wewe ni wa ishara na ajabu. Say it. Wasema tu. Say again I am for signs and wonders. Sema tena mimi ni wa ishara na ajabu. I didn't hear you say I am for signs and wonders. Sija kusikia sema mimi ni wa ishara na ajabu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's what you will experience. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18, our anchor scripture, Behold, I and the children whom the Lord have given me are for signs and for wonders. In Israel. Katika Israel. That word Israel can be changed in the world. Can can be say Israel. In Tanzania. It's not Tanzania is small. <laughs> Sio, <inaweza kabadilisho laughs> it's, it's the world. Ni the world. You are wote. for signs and wonders. Sisi sote ntui shara na ajabu. On this earth. Katika dunia hii. From the Lord of hosts. From the Lord of hosts. All you need to do is to receive this word. Believe it, declare it. The Lord of hosts is, what, is the one that will make it happen. And he dwells in Zion. Somebody shout hallelujah. Operating in the supernatural part 1C. Operating in the supernatural as a teaching series we began last Wednesday. We took part 1A on Wednesday, yesterday part 1B. And today we are continuing again on the same Operating in the supernatural. The major word in this teaching is the supernatural. That word supernatural is a combination of two words. Super. Ku and natural. Na ya kawaida. Which means beyond the natural spirit. Ni zaidi ya hii hali ya kawaida. Something that is super to the natural. Kitu ambacho ni kikubwa kuliko hii hali ya kawaida. Something that is extraordinary. Kitu ambacho si cha kawaida. We can say that the supernatural is a sign. Or an art. 
that cannot be explained by natural laws yet cannot be denied is an art Nintendo that cannot be explained by a natural law yet cannot be denied you know in Acts chapter 4 verse 16 <laughs> the, children of the Jews say a notable miracle is done through their hand <laughs> and it is manifest <laughs> uh, to them that dwell in Israel we cannot deny it example is a virgin conceiving and bringing forth a song. It's a supernatural art. Because for a woman to be pregnant, there must be a meeting between a man and a woman. But this one didn't happen. This one didn't happen. No one can deny it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No law, no biological law can, can explain it, but they cannot deny it. That's the supernatural art. Also, dividing the Red Sea is another example of supernatural art. Dividing the racy. It's a supernatural that no law can explain. No natural law can explain it. But yet, it cannot be denied. Turning water into wine, as we saw in John chapter 2, verse 5 to 11. People we are watching. They didn't see any chemical beast. Because before you produce wine, no matter the kind of wine, there are some things that will be missed. But this one is a water was drawn. Jesus was not the one that came with the pot. The pot had been there. He was not the one that filled the pot. He showed that fill it. And the water was drawn and it became a wine. No natural law can explain that. But you can't deny it. Somebody shout hallelujah. Walking on the sea by Jesus. And also joy. It cannot be explained. Because water, you can't walk on water. Because it's a liquid substance. You can't walk on, on water. Naturally. But for somebody to be walking on water as if you are walking on a on a background like this. It's a supernatural art that no natural law can explain. But yet it cannot be denied. I can go on and on. That's what we mean by supernatural. An art that cannot be explained by a natural law. And yet cannot be denied. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that is what redemption brought to us. Take, have, that is the way redemption translated us to. To live a supernatural life here on earth. Things happening in our life that cannot be explained and yet cannot be denied. And that will be your experience. All through this month and beyond. Things will be happening in your life that nobody can explain it. But they cannot deny that God has visited you. And not hearing a louder amen. But let's know very well that we are empowered by the Holy Ghost to walk in the supernatural. Tracing the story of the apostles. Jesus left them and when he was ascended and yes, they gathered so in upper room. Room. Nothing was happening. And in Acts chapter 2 Reading from verse 1 up to verse 30, 37. You see, on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost came. And empowered them. And Peter stood up and preached a sermon. And the next chapter, as of Apostles chapter 10. Reading from verse 6 to 16. And they went on the hour of prayer. And met a man at the beautiful gate. Remember they were empowered in verse 2, in chapter 2. And normally it was an hour of prayer, if you read it from verse 1. And our prayer, they just went for prayer. 
and they saw a man and that man had been there every day na wakamwona mtu ambaye alikuwa kila siku hapo and peter said look on us na petro akamwambia the man was expecting something from him tazame sisi kwa yule mtu alikuwa anatarajia kitu kutoka kwao and peter said silver and gold akasema dhahabu we have no but there was something we have in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth stand up and go. And he took him in hand. That is wakume. the beginning of miracles in the ministry. And in the but it came after much of the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. And in Acts chapter 5 verse 12 to 14. Acts chapter 5 verse 12 to 14. He said, and by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. Many signs and wonders after much of the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. And many, many Many of them we are not recorded. There were many of them. Kulikuwa na miujiza mingi sana. Somebody shout hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. And also you see the Holy Ghost is the grand commander of the supernatural. Na Roho Mtakatifu ndiye mwamuru mkuu wa uungu. We must understand that. Lazima tuelewe hilo. In our quest to operate in the supernatural. Katika ile nia yetu ya kutembea katika uungu. We must recognize the person and the ministry of the Holy Ghost. Lazima tumtambue Roho Mtakatifu na huduma yake. You can't operate in the supernatural outside of the Holy Ghost. Kwamba tuwezi kutembea katika uungu nje ya Roho Mtakatifu. Outside of the Holy Ghost. Nje ya Roho Mtakatifu. You know the Holy Ghost is one of the most despised among the Trinity. Many Christians have not understand the place of the Holy Ghost in their mind. The Holy Ghost is the third person of the Trinity. He has the same power and the same glory with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. But He is here with us. Ascend by the Father. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. We must recognize and receive his ministry. Lazima tumtambue na kupokea huduma yake. The grand commander. Kama muamuru mkuu of the supernatural. Wa mambo ya kiungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Joel chapter 2 verse 28 to 30. Katika Yoweli 2:28 It was prophesied ilikuwa ilitabiriwa in the last day I will pour out my spirit katika siku za mwisho nitamimina roho yangu I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh familia yangu juu yote wenye mwili and your sons na wana wenu and your daughters shall prophesy waume kwa wake watatabiri wazee wenu wataota ndoto your young men na vijana wenu shall see vision wataona maono and in verse 29 msari 29 and upon the servant and upon the handmaid tena na juu ya utumishi wangu waume kwa wake wana my spirit katika siku zile nitamimina roho yangu and verse 30. Sorry, 30. And I will show wonders in the heavens. And in the earth. When the spirit was poured, the wonders began. Even in the ministry of Jesus. Here on earth. Without the Holy Ghost, you could have not you have not seen the signs you saw. In Luke chapter 4 verse 14. He returned to the Luke chapter 4 verse 14. Katika Luka 4:14. He returned with the power of the spirit. Arirejea kwa nguvu za roho. When he fasted and the Bible say alipofunga he went a fame of him throughout all region. Abiria anasema habari zake zikaenea katika nchi zote. And in verse 18. Mstari wa 18. He announced and said the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Akatangaza sema roho ya Bwana yuko yangu. Because he have anointed me. That was the beginning of his ministry. When he was empowered by the Holy Ghost. And in verse 37. Verse 37. Verse 37. The same verse. The fame of him went out into every place of the country and about. And verse 38. He arose out of the synagogue. Siku yu yu. And he entered into Simon's house. And Simon's wife mother was taken with a great fever. And they besought him for her. 
And he stood over her and rebuked the fever. And he left her and immediately she arose and ministered unto her. The fever could begun immediately was, he was empowered. People of God, you cannot operate in a supernatural without being empowered by the Holy Ghost. It's so also important for us to understand that our level of empowerment determines our level of command in the supernatural. Our level of empowerment determines our level of command of the supernatural. In John chapter 3 verse 34 Jesus was giving the spirit with that measure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And signs and wonders Shara Majabu. was the order of the day. Ndiyo ilikuwa kawaida yake. Our level of empowerment chetu cha uweza. is what determines our level of command in the supernatural. Ndicho chetu cha katika Let's grieve for more empowerment of the Holy Ghost. Hem tutamani kuvikwa zaidi uweza na Roma takatifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the more we pray, the more we are empowered. The more we pray in the language of the Spirit, the more we are empowered. Somebody shout hallelujah. But you can't pray in that language, you can't be empowered by the Spirit until you first of all recognize Him as a person. Recognize Him as a person. Believe in His ministry. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm not hearing a bigger hallelujah. And the question we are about to answer now, how do I operate in the supernatural? The first day we say by engaging the power of the new birth. In other, in other words, understanding what the new birth carries, the revelation of it. Yesterday we talk about the second, which is engaging the force of prayer and fasting. These are keys that is needed to operate in the supernatural. And today we, this now we look at the third one. How do I operate in the supernatural? By engaging the consciousness of divine presence. Engaging the consciousness of divine presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John chapter 10 verse 2. Let me begin from there. Open your heart. Let's let's explore what is in divine presence today for us. And I want your heart to be stirred to always be conscious of it. If you read, let's read from verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same man came to Jesus by night and, and say unto him, Rabbi, 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 we know that thou art a teacher come from God. Kwa Mungu. For no man kwa mana hakuna can do these miracles that thou doest except isipokuwa. God be with him. Mungu yupa mujanai. Nicodemus recognized that for Jesus to have done all these miracles. It was as a result of divine presence. Except God be with you. Divine presence is a backbone of the supernatural. Hallelujah. Divine presence is a trigger of the supernatural. Psalm 114 verse 1 Zaburi mia kumina nene moja. You see what the divine presence can do. Unaweza ukaona wepo mungu na kafanya. When Israel went out of Egypt, unaweza yeye walitoka. A house of Jacob from the people of strange language. Nyumba ya Jacob wakaenda kunyanyichi ugeni. Judah was his sanctuary. Judah alikuwa pata katifu. Israel his dominion. Israeli ilikuwa ni. The sea saw it and flee. 
Jordan was driven back. The mountains keep like lambs. And the little hills like lambs. What LD, O Darcy? That thou fielded that Jordan. That thou was driven back. Ye mountain that skip like lambs. Ye little hills like lambs. Tremble thou earth. At the presence of the Lord. At the presence of the God of Jacob. This, you, the account of what happened. Jordan drew back. Mountain sleep like lambs. All of them as a result of the presence of God. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17 said that the Lord in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will bless his Lord. The presence of God is mighty. Is mighty. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paz, hallelujah. Exodus 15 verse 11 say, Who is like unto the Lord, Lord among the gods? Who is like unto the Lord among the glorious in holiness? Fearful in praises, doing wonders. The presence of God is important to wonders. It's a trigger to signs, wonders, and diverse miracles. Somebody shout hallelujah. Paz, hallelujah. When a believer is conscious of divine presence. He or she is empowered to command the supernatural. Look at the statement of Jesus. In chapter 8 verse 27. He said, he that sent me is with me. The father have not let me alone. 29. 29. John chapter 8 verse 29. He that sent me is with me. Jesus was conscious of divine presence. My father have not let me alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not hearing a bigger hallelujah. hallelujah. In Acts chapter 10 verse 38. What was it that made Jesus? The presence of God. Yes, Her God anointed Jesus with Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all that was oppressed of the devil. God was with him. That last phrase of that scripture is what made things happen. So God was with him. The presence of God is, is greater than the anointing. You can have the anointing if you like the presence of God. The anointing will lead to annoyance. For God was with him. That was the secret of him operating in, in signs and wonders. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The presence of God is an asset of non-quality, fireable words. An asset that you can't qualify with anything. You can ask Moses, Moses will tell you. In Exodus chapter 33 verse 14 to 16, Moses demanded for his presence. Verse 14. Verse 14. Exodus 33. He said, my, my presence shall go with thee. And I will give thee rest. And verse 15. And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. If your presence will not go with me, because he understood what he means for God's presence to go with you. If God does not go with you, the journey may be difficult. The presence of God is a secret of things working for you and people don't understand how it's working. The presence of God distinguishes Apostle Paul Distinguish as Apostle In Acts chapter 19 verse 11 and 12. Katika matendo God was special miracles. By the hand of Paul. God, God, God. Mungu. Mungu. You say something, he magnifies it. 
Unasema kitu anakitimiza. It is God. Ni Mungu. Those who carry God. Wale ambao wanambeba Mungu. Does not lack miracles. Hawakosi miujiza. Somebody shout hallelujah. Waza hallelujah. And not here with a bigger hallelujah. Sikia hallelujah. And you see the life of Moses. Na unaona maisha ya Musa. He say I need your presence. Anasema ninahitaji uso wako uko. In Deuteronomy 34 verse 10 to 12. Nataka kutoka you could see kumkumbu la Torati Deuteronomy 34. Verse 10 to 12. The Torah says, And there was not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. In all the signs, the wonders which the Lord sent him to do in the land of Egypt, and to all his servants, and to all. His land. And in all the might and in all that mighty hand. And in all the great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all Israel. He carried divine presence. Somebody shout hallelujah. People of God, there is no future. Watu wa Mungu hakuna kesho. When you believe without the presence of God. Ambao inaweza kafika au kutimia pasipo hapo. You cannot pray in signs and wonders and miracles without the presence of God. Hawezi kutembea katika ishara miujiza na maajabu pasipo uwepo wa Mungu. That was why when most when David when David sinned by going in with Bathsheba. He Yomana, wrote Psalm 90, 51, Psalm 51. Katika ile Zaburi ya 51. And in verse 11 of that scripture, he said, Cast me not away from thy presence. Lord, no matter what I have done, I will not be able to do it. Cast me not away from thy presence. Lord, no matter what I have done, I will not be able to do it. Cast me not away from thy presence. Lord, no matter what I have done, I will not be able to do it. Cast me not away from thy presence. Lord, no matter what I have done, I will not be able to do it. Cast me not away from thy presence. Lord, no matter what I have done, I will not be able to do it. Cast me not away from thy presence. Lord, no matter what I have done, I will not be able to do it. Cast me not away from thy presence. Lord, no matter what I have done, I will not be able to do it. Cast me not away from thy presence. Lord, no matter what I have done, I will not be able to do it. Cast me not away from thy presence. Lord, no matter what I have done, I will not be able to do it. Cast me not away from thy presence. Lord, no matter what I have done, I will not be able to do it. Cast me not away from thy presence. Lord, no matter what I Hallelujah. You may lose anything in life. But one thing you must never lose is the presence of God. You may lose friends. You may lose connections. One thing you will never, you will never, don't try to lose in this life. Is the presence of God. That's what makes a difference in life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If the presence of God is the only thing you have, you have have much. Because one with God is with majority. I'm not hearing a louder hallelujah. The presence of God weighed heavier than the presence of any president in this, on this he earth. He weighs heavier. You will win battles. You will prosper. You will see Favor on every side. Utapata kibali kila unakoenda. Just by the presence of God. Kwa sababu tu ya wepo abwa. What distinguish Joseph? Kili chomto fauti cha Yusufu. Was the presence of God. Irikwa ni wepo amungu. If you look at Genesis chapter thirty-nine. Ukiangali ile muanzo thalathina tisa. Verse two and five. Thari wa piri na watu. Painted a picture of that. The Lord was with Joseph. That is the greatest testimony in life. Mungu alikuwa na Yusufu ile kwa ushuhuda ukubwa kwenye maisha yake. What you are seeing in this commission is the Lord is with us. Unachoona kwenye huduma hii ni kwa sababu Mungu yuko pamoja nasi. It doesn't matter who have left. Haijalishi nani ameondoka. The Lord is with us. Bwana yuko pamoja nasi. Put back that scripture. Hebu rudisha hilo andiko. The Lord was with Joseph. Bwana akawa pamoja na Yusufu. And he was prosperous man. Naye akastawi. He was in the house of a master the Egyptian. Naye alikuwa katika nyumba ya bwana wake yule Misri. And verse 20 first there. Sari wa 3. His master saw that the Lord was with him. That the Lord made all that he did to prosper in his hand. Joseph found grace in his sire. Because even Potiphar knew that the Lord was with this man. When others do something, it won't work. But because of divine presence, a little thing he will do, he will make it bigger. Wakati wengine wanaangaika wewe unafanya kitu kidogo lakini kinakuwa kikubwa 
sign, no wonder, no miracle anywhere without divine presence. What many believers are lacking today is divine presence. What many churches are lacking today is divine presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many people don't understand why we guide it jealously. We can offend members to keep divine presence. We might not agree what you say to keep God in the church. If God is in the church, the church will keep on growing. Closely. Somebody shout hallelujah. I told you a story one day. God told me that church got not go down because somebody leave the church church goes down when I leave the church anything you, you, you spiritually recommended to keep me in the church do it I will be there the presence of God the presence of God the presence of God that is the secret Psalm 27 Say, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall know one. He make me to lie down in grace pasture. And he leaded me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He, he, he restores my soul. And leaded me in the path of righteousness. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For I'm conscious of divine presence. I, I know that you are with me. And because you are with me, your word and your staff, they are there with me to comfort me. Because you are with me, you will prepare a table before me in the presence of my name. Because you are with me, only goodness and mercy shall follow me. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Divine presence. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Consciousness of divine presence is what it takes to operate in the supernatural. Somebody shout hallelujah. Kaza, hallelujah. And not here with a bigger hallelujah. Kaza, hallelujah. No matter who closes the door against ha you. When you carry God. Mungu, door open on their own accord. Divine presence opens doors. Mungu command nilang. all manner of miracles. Ina fanya and blessings. Na Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because if God go with you, or if God is with you, he will either have his way or find a way or make a way or he will be the way. Any way you look at it, any way you look at it, he cannot be stagnated. Somebody shout hallelujah. As hallelujah. In Psalm 24 verse 7, 8 and 9, say, lift up your heads, O ye gate, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the God of hosts, is the king. King of glory. People of God. Miracles we desire in life. We desire in life. Is in divine presence. Divine presence is also our guarantee. For preservation. For deliverance against all the woes of life. Remember Romans 8 verse 31 says if God be for us who can be against us to win in life secure the presence of God. No one can be against you. Hakuna mbaya anaweza kukupinga. Jeremiah 20 verse 11 Jeremiah was boasting. He said I, he said, he say, but the Lord is with me. As a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble. My persecutors shall stumble. Secure the presence of God. Anyone that stands against you will stumble. Somebody shout hallelujah. He said, they shall not prevail. Why? Because he has God. Kwa nini kwa mungu? 
He has God with him. Kwa sababu ana Mungu. When God is with you, he fight for you. Mungu akiwa pamoja naye anakupigania. Somebody shout hallelujah. Baza hallelujah. No opposition or obstacle. Hakuna kipingamizi au kizuizi. We stand his presence. Ambacho kinaweza kusimama kwenye uwepo wa Mungu. People of God, what am I saying today? Watu wa Mungu nasema nini leo? That consciousness of divine presence. Kwamba ule utambuzi wa uwepo wa Mungu is what makes you and I to operate in the supernatural. Ndio inakufanya mimi na wewe tutembee katika uongo. Because it's God that will do the miracle to us. Kwa sababu ni Mungu ndiye anatenda miujiza kupitia sisi. That's why you will struggle to have one thing or the other do if God is not with you. Ndio maana utahangaika sana kupata vitu kama Mungu hayuko pamoja na wewe. The presence of God makes all the difference in the school of the supernatural. Katika shule ya uungu, uwepo wa Mungu ndio unaleta tofauti. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. I say praise the Lord. Nasema Bwana asifiwe. I say praise the Lord. Nasema Bwana asifiwe. That is why you must secure his presence. Ndio maana lazima uhifadhi uwepo wake. The greatest asset to a believer. Ni hazina kubwa sana kumwamini. The greatest prayer anyone can pray for you. Ombi lolote ambalo mtu anaweza kuombea. You can pray for yourself. Ambalo unaweza kujiombea mwenyewe. Go go with me. Mungu nenda pamoja na mimi. It's a prayer I that always very dear to me to pray for myself. Ni ombi ambalo najiombea sana mimi. Lord go with me. Mungu nenda pamoja nami. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he always go with us. Siku zote huwa anaenda pamoja nami. Somebody shout hallelujah. Pasa hallelujah. But the question it is. Lakini swali ni kwamba. How do I sustain divine presence nina utunzaje uwepo wa mungu how do i is one thing to secure it is another thing to sustain it ni jambo moja kupata uwepo wa mungu na ni jambo jingine kuutunza uwepo many people god have left them watu wengi mungu wamewaacha because they don't know how to sustain divine presence kwa sababu hawajui namna ya kuutunza uwepo wa mungu how do i sustain it nina utunzaje uwepo wa mungu by doing always things that please god kwa kutenda siku zote yale anayopendeza yeye. John 8 verse 29. Yohana 8. He that sent me. Yeye alinituma. With me. Yuko pamoja nami. 29. Is with me. Yeye alinipeleka yuko pamoja nami. The Father have not let me alone. Baba hakuniacha peke yangu. He didn't stop there. Hakuacha hapo. He said for. Alisema kwa sababu. I do. Nafanya always siku zote those things that please him yale yampendezayo yeye that's why the father will leave you ndio maana baba atakuacha if you don't do the things that please him usipoyafanya yale yanayompendeza jesus said the reason he is with me yesu alisema sababu kwa nini mungu yuko pamoja nami because i do always look at the word always ni kwa sababu siku zote ninayafanya hebu tazame hilo neno siku zote siku zote those things siku zote it is not only one thing sio siku moja those things that please him yale yote anayompendeza sio jambo moja yote anayompendeza hicho ndicho kinachohitaji kinachohitaji sustain divine presence ili uweze kuutunza uwepo wa Mungu somebody shout hallelujah paza hallelujah go further na kaendelea zaidi so what are those things that please god ni yapi hayo yanayompendeza Mungu that can help you to sustain his presence ambayo yanaweza kufanya uutunze uwepo wake the list is inexhaustive But I will just mention five. Orova ni kubwa sana tutaja matano. Number the first one that please him. La kwanza ndio mpendeza. Is maintaining a quality covenant work with God as a lifestyle. Ni kutembea kiasi na Mungu. If you sustain his presence. Kudumisha kutembea kiasi na Mungu kama mtu wa maisha. You must a quality covenant work. Lazima utembee kiagano with God as a lifestyle. Kama mtindo wa maisha. And not work with God. Enoko alitembea alitembea na Mungu. He never lack divine presence. Hakukosa uwepo wa Mungu. Moses was in a covenant walk with God. Musa alikuwa akitembea kiagano na Mungu. You know God God value our walk with him. Unajua Mungu anathamini kutembea kwetu na yeye. And the work I'm talking about is W A L K. Na tunaotembea maana yake ni kuenenda na Mungu. Kuenenda pamoja. He value our walk with him that our walk W O R K with him anathamini sana kutembea na yeye kuliko kutenda kazi na yeye Moses walk with God on a covenant basis Musa alitembea na Mungu kiagano and God is a covenant keeping God na Mungu ni Mungu mtunza maagano Nef, Moses never miss his presence na Musa hakukosa uwepo wa Mungu maintain a quality covenant work with God udumishe kutembea kiagano na Mungu the things that please him mambo yanayompendeza yeye number 2 kitu cha pili live in obedience ishe katika utii Jesus obeyed even in Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 
7 he say he became obedient to death even the death to the cross wa philippi nasema alikuwa mtii hata ukiwa wa mauti master utii wa mauti there every time he became obedient even to die on the cross yeye alitii hata kufa msalabani ishe katika utii disobedient drive god away from you kuasi kuna muondosha mungu kwako your disobedience does not please him unapokosa utii haumpendezi is only you be then that please him and when he is pleased he will be with you ni utii tu unaompendeza na ukimpendeza anakuwa na wewe number 3 the things that please god yale mambo yanayompendeza mungu keep praising god as a lifestyle endelea kumsifu mungu kama mtindo wa maisha when you make praise thanksgiving and worship a lifestyle you carry god at all unapofanya sifa shukurani na kuabudu kama mtindo wako wa maisha unakuwa na mungu wakati wote sa 34 verse 1 he say i will Praise the Lord at all times. Zaburi nasema nitamsifu Mungu wakati wote. Sifa zake siku zote zitakuwa kinywani mwangu. Psalm 22 verse 7. Zaburi 22:3. God inhabit the praises of his word. Mungu uketi katika sifa za watu wake. Praise is, is an invitation God have no power to turn down. Sifa ni mwaliko ambao Mungu hawezi kukataa. Many people don't understand why we sing worship, they don't understand why we praise God and why we thank God. Watu wa Mungu hawaelewi kwa nini tunamsifu, tunamwabudu. Tunamshukuru, tunataka kukaa na ule uwepo wake. Because Praise is his food. Kwa sababu sifa ndio chakula cha Mungu. Do it as a lifestyle. Mfanya kama mtindo wako wa maisha. Before you pray, you take time to praise God and worship God. Kabla ya kuomba, anza kumsifu na kuabudu kwanza. He comes there and you see your before even you ask, you already heard. Na utaona kabla hata hujaomba tayari unapata. That's one way to get his presence. Hiyo ndio njia moja kupata uwepo wake. Praise as a lifestyle. Sifu kama mtindo wa maisha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And number 4. Na namba 4 humility before god as a lifestyle kuwa mnyenyekevu kwa mungu kama mtindo wa maisha god resist the proud and give grace to the humble mungu wapinga wenye kiburi na kuwapa neema wenye nyekevu god will never camp around the proud mungu hawezi kukana wenye kiburi he will never come to the proud mungu hawezi kukana wenye kiburi one of the things you find in the life of jesus he humbled himself moja ya vitu ambavyo unaona kwenye maisha yake alikuwa mnyenyekevu he made himself of no reputation anasema hakujiona yeye wa thamani he made himself of no reputation hakujiona yeye wa thamani and put up a form of a servant na akaji akaji kwa hali ya utumwa somebody shout hallelujah pas hallelujah humility before god as a lifestyle unyenyekevu mbele za mungu kama mtindo wa maisha making yourself of no importance ndio maana usijithamini sana lovers of reputation always lose divine presence wale ambao wale of reputation wale ambao wanapenda wanapenda majivuno wanakosa uwepo wa Mungu because when you are proud you cannot even lie down and worship him kwa sababu ukiwa na kiburi hauwezi kulala chini na kumwabudu Mungu can you go before him unaweza uka before can you go before him Are you not too big before him wewe sio mkubwa sana mbele zake you even say god you don't have the kind of certificate i have You can't come to you with such attitude. Unasema labda sina viete kama ulivonavyo. Uzo kaja mbele za Mungu kwa kwa mtazamo huo. Proud believers will only attract the devil not God. Wale watu wenye kiburi watamvuta shetani lakini sio Mungu. And finally, na cha mwisho the things that please God. Yale mambo yanayompendeza Mungu. Walking in holiness as a lifestyle. Kutembea katika utu takatifu kama mtindo wa maisha walking in holiness as a lifestyle kutembea katika utakatifu kama mtindo wa maisha Psalm 15 verse 1 and 2 Zaburi 15 Psalm 15 verse 1 and 2 Lord who shall abide in thy tabernacle Nani akae katika imani shall dwell in thy holy hill Nani atakayefanya maskani katika kilima cha mtakatifu ni mtu aendaye kwa righteousness na kutenda haki Aspike the truth in his heart Asemaye kweli kwa moyo wake And Psalm 24 verse 7 and 5 na Zaburi 24:5 Psalm 24 verse 7 and 5 Zaburi 24:5 Psalm you say who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord Nani atakayepanda katika mlima wa Bwana Who shall stand in his holy place Nani atakasimama katika patakatifu pake He that have clean hands Mtu aliye na mikono safi and a pure heart Moyo mweupe Who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity Asiyeinua nafsi yake kwa ubatili Not sworn deceitfully Wala kuapa kwa hila And verse 5 He shall receive the blessing from the Lord Atapokea baraka kwa Bwana And the righteousness from the Lord Hati kwa Mungu wa wokovu wake Stand up on your feet Simama kwa miguu yako Hallelujah Hallelujah katala balaba Lift up your voice and appreciate him Inua sauti yako na mshukuru. Lift up your voice and I celebrate him. Inua sauti yako na umsifu. Divine present is all it takes. Wapo Mungu ndio kinachohitajika. I might lose anything in life. The one thing I pray 
never to lose in this life divine presence. It doesn't matter who have left. If God have not leave you, nobody have left. Lift up your voice and appreciate him. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Give him all the adoration. Oh Jesus, we celebrate you. Jesus, we celebrate you. Oh Lebra Lia Babala Bracatasho Lia Balaba. Oh Shiketo Lia Babala Balaba Shala Balaba. Alia Katasha Kata Lia Baba Baba. Elia Kababa Sheketo Lobo Shalaba. Elia Kata Katushi Kata Lia Balabalaba. Oh, Yakita Labo Alia Baraba. Melia Katala Balaba. I want you to pray this prayer. Lord, one, don't take your presence away from me. Anything that will make your presence far from me, take it from me, Lord. Father, don't ba take your presence away from me. Baba, anything or any relationship, anything I have that will make me to lose your Cho -cho 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 presence. Father, take that away from me. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, don't take your presence away from me. Don't take your presence away from me. Oh, anything that will make your presence far from me. Cho -cho -cho take it from me, Lord. Anything blocking my access to your presence, take it away from, from me, Lord. Oh, with the presence of God, there is no miracle you will not see. With the presence of God, there is no blessing you will not see. That with the presence of God, there is no battle that you will lose. Oh, one with God is with majority. Lord, anything, Lord. Oh, that will make me far away from you. That will make you to me to lose you. Jesus, take that away from me. Yes, Anywhere I will travel in this world, that I will lose you. Lord, say to you that I will not go. Lord, any station, Lord, that I will lose you. See to you that I'm not transferred to that place. Anyone I will meet in this life that will take your presence away from me. Father, see to you that I will not miss such person. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, any environment. Lord, that will make me dry of your presence. Lord, may I never go there. Any blessing that will make me lose you, may I never have it. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, take not your spirit away from me. Oh, make it take it, Olia. Don't take your present from me. Anything that will take your present from me, let it take it be far away from me. Lord, I pray for your presence. Lord, I pray for your presence. Lord, I pray for your presence. Oh, le kato shelia balabalaba. Thank you, Jesus. Santa Jesus. You will not miss God. How to mkosa mungu. Anything the devil went to use to you to make you miss God. Today it is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere the devil went to take you for you to miss God, you will not go there in the name of Jesus Any environment that will make you to miss God. You will not assess such environment. The presence of God will be made manifest in your life. Of the day of the Anywhere you go, people will know that you carry God. Potiphar and the family knew that there is something in Joseph. So they know that God is with him. Everything he does, prospers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And not hearing a bigger hallelujah. hallelujah. Everyone around you, in your office, in your family, in your business, place, family, they will know that you carry God. And not hearing a louder amen. And not hearing a louder amen. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 9. Isaiah 8, verse 9. The Bible says, Associate yourself together. You shall be broken in pieces. Give your all, you far countries. Guide yourself and you shall be broken in pieces. Guide yourself and you shall be broken in pieces. And verse 10, he said, take counsel together. 
and he shall come to naught. Speak the word and he shall not stand. For God is with us. For God is with us. By divine presence no gang up of hell will happen in your life. No sickness, no infirmity will survive around you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says for God is with us. Our confidence as a commission is God is with us. For the past 39 years and still counting, God is with us. That's our confidence. And that shall also be your own confidence. I pray for you. Everywhere you go, God will go with you. And not hearing a louder amen. I told the story here one day that a young lady was traveling. They came to carry her. With uh, some people, uh, the car is already filled up, and and the way even they drive, the old mother just look at the journey and told the young lady, "You are not interpreting." I say a young lady was traveling. And there are people that came with a car to carry her. And the mother said to the young lady, Say, God will go with you. The young lady laughed. Say, Unless God will go and stay in the boot that the car is fed up. They joke with it and drove off. And God heard it. And as they are going, they got a fatal accident. And the car crashed. Every one of them inside the car destroyed. The boot was untouched. The story has it that X, we are in the boot. S, we are in the boot. Egg, egg. Was in the boot. None of them was broken. Because when the young lady said, unless God will be in the boot, God went to the boot. To the extent that the egg in the boot was not touched. You don't joke with God. God doesn't know anything called comedy. The Bible says, don't say to an, an angel, it's an error. That God will be angry and destroy the work of your hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a powerful prayer. God cannot go with you and, and be involved in an accident. It's impossible. I pray for you. In your business. In every journey. God will go with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Moses said, if your presence will not go with us, don't carry us up. Everywhere you go, everywhere you find yourself, the presence of God will go with you. So shall it be. I'm not hearing a bigger amen. Somebody is here who is not born again. You can't you can ask God. You can't accommodate God. You can't host God. Until you are born again. He, until he knows you. And Jesus is the way to know him. You are here, you want to be saved. And you will carry divine presence today. You want to be saved? Maybe you are watching in the view center. Raise your hand up. Let me pray for you. Raise your hand up. Raise your hand up. You want to be saved? You want to be saved? You want to be saved? God bless you in the view center. Minister to them there. The person raising hand, minister to him there. God bless you. Set forth your hands, what they convenient. Set forth the hand, what they convenient. Oh, the kata she kata laba. Oh, bre kata liya balaba. By this communion, every sickness is destroyed. It's a healing testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ, by this communion, that which Lord, that is not of you. Lord, in the body or in the system of anyone here, let him be rooted out. Anything, Lord, that is a hindrance to divine presence in our life, let him be destroyed. Let him be destroyed. Let him be destroyed. Let him be destroyed. 
Let him be destroyed. Receive your healing via this communion now. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. The hand of God is coming upon someone today. All oh, the virtues of this communion, the virtue of healing, deliverance, impartation is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus, this is now the flesh and the blood of Jesus. And I decree by this communion, let every sickness be humiliated. By this communion, I decree that whatever my heavenly father has planted, Lord, in the life of anyone here, let it be rooted out. Jesus, yes, let there be instant healing miracles. Let there be deliverances. And let the desires of your people be granted. I bless this table that I use as a point of contact to a table set at the Bagala City Center. And everyone watching with his or her PC or iPad, whatever they are using to watch. Lord that is connected to this service today, the communion there is blessed and let the same effect Lord be seen in those places so shall it be in Jesus name Amen why are sing as we partake of the communion you destroy principalities Jesus, Jesus, by your name, establish a covenant. Jesus, Jesus, the righteous, by your blood, by your blood, you destroy, you destroy, please.
thank you, Jesus. Receive your miracles now, receive your healing. Go with your testimonies now. Everything that you stand, you came to this service as a challenge. That challenge drove off you, that sickness drove off you. Your testimonies are established tonight. And you have been turning this Sunday with those testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. You are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Go in peace. And return this Sunday with your testimonies. The presence of God go with you all the days of your life. And to you, God will work special miracles. And not hearing a louder amen. And not hearing a louder amen. The kind of sign, wonder, and miracles you have never seen before. Do your hand this much. God will do it in the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree no sickness, no infirmity survive your body anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. Your sleep tonight shall be sweet. It shall be full of testimonies by reason of encounters in Jesus glorious name no nightmare of any kind someone is delivered for nightmare this hour in Jesus glorious name Amen. it is my year breaking limit what eyes have not seen shall be your experience all through the year 2020 congratulations Amen and amen. God bless you. Congratulations, congratulations, yeah, congratulations.